What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Southwest. Today we are starting a new series on my channel called How to Catch. And today's episode is going to be how to catch catfish. So today I'm out at a park. Um, this park is stocked with catfish and I'm going to try and give you guys a lot of tips and uh, help you walk through the process of how exactly do you catch catfish. So stay tuned. Hopefully this video can help you out. All right guys, so I'm out here at the park and I found a nice shady spot on the bank um, where I'm set up. I can sit here and I'm about to start fishing. So one of the things um, that I want to tell you guys is if you're starting out fishing, it's very hard to figure out what lures to use and what bait to use, but it's also just as hard to figure out where to fish. So I want you guys to know that um, a lot of, pretty much every state, um, I think your fisheries, uh, your wildlife and fisheries department, they stock tons of ponds throughout each state. So if you go and you just Google stocked ponds you can fish, they'll give you a list of parks where you can go and catch these stocked catfish. All right, so I'm out here. I've got um, my spinning reel and my bait cast combo, and they're not rigged up yet because I was gonna kind of walk you guys through that process as well. All right guys, so catfish are bottom feeders. They do most of um, their feeding along the bottom of your water. So basically they're gonna just be down low, they're gonna be rooting around looking for different things and they feed predominantly off of the sense of smell. So they like really stinky baits, things like that. But we're gonna be fishing with a drop shot rig today and I'm just gonna kind of run you through how to do that really easily. All right, so you can just take, um, you want a decent sized hook for these catfish. Um, I mean, it's not huge, but maybe like two inches long. Not sure what the size of it is, but you're gonna just tie any old knot. It doesn't really matter, just any fishing knot. I tie a Palmer knot and you basically double the line up, run it through, then take that and do a loop like you're tying your shoe. And then you have this extra right here, hook back through it and you're gonna pull it tight. What you need to make sure you do is you need to make sure you leave a long extra tag line because we're gonna attach our weight to that. All right, and there's no specific weight you have to use. I mean, I've caught tons of catfish just tying on like bullet weights or just some little clamp on split shot weights, but I do have a ball uh, drop shot weight today. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie that on. But basically you just need something to make your lure or your bait sink to the bottom. All right, so we've now got our hook and then down the line, we have our little ball weight. So we've got a nice little drop shot rig ready to go. All right, now let's talk about what type of bait to use for catfish. So like I said earlier, catfish love to like look for food with their sense of smell. So anything that gives off a really strong smell is gonna work really well. This is my number one favorite bait for channel catfish. I think it'll work for like almost every catfish, but for channel catfish, we've got fresh chicken livers. So these things are full of blood and they stink. They're pretty nasty, but if you wanna catch catfish, you wanna fish with these. All right, so this is pretty gross, but you're just gonna get a nice good piece of this liver, get it on there as best as you can to where it's nice and secure on the hook so when you throw it, it doesn't fly off because that's one of the biggest problems with fishing with the liver. But we've got it on there. And now all you gotta do is just throw it out there in the water and let the catfish come to it. Cast it out there, and then we're going to do a technique called tight line. Basically, you're just going to want to set your rod up somewhere, and then you're just going to reel it up until that line is tight so that you can tell if something's biting it. All right, so I've got the slack out of my line, liver's on the bottom, and now we're just going to wait until I see some activity on my line. One of the great things about catfishing is it's super simple. Uh, it's kind of hard to do wrong. As long as you throw out a bait on a hook, I mean, not much else matters. All right, now for my second pole. All right, guys, well, now we've got both of our lines out in the water and tight, and we're just gonna wait until we get a bite. So this is the fun part. You can kick back, you can do whatever you want. Just kind of keep an eye on your lines. And when they start, you know, looks like something's yanking on it, pulling on it, and your line's going up and down, then, you know, just reel in and set that hook. So one thing I forgot to mention is that it really increases your chance of catching catfish if you go fishing either when the sun rises or when the sun is gonna set. So I'm out here, it's about six o'clock. I think the sun 
truly sets closer to eight right about now, but I got out here a little early so that I could just give myself plenty of time to catch fish. Um, also check your regulations at your parks and different things because, sorry, either my rod just fell for no reason or I had a bite. <laughs> I think it just fell for no reason. Anyways, before you go fishing, make sure you check your regulations at your park if you're wanting to keep fish. Um, I know that at this park, the limit is five fish of any size for catfish. So we're going to see if we can catch our five fish limit today and take them home. And we're not going to cook them for dinner tonight, but I'm going to clean them and save them for another time. Guys, I don't know if y'all can see it. Oh yeah, you can. There's a large snake over here. <laughs> he's kind of like heading towards me. He looks cautious about something. But he's a little off to my left, so I should be good right here. When these catfish hit it, they might tap on it a few times. You got to make sure that they really take it. So once either a whole lot of slack is in your line or your rod is really going crazy, then you can set the hook and reel in on them. You want to make sure that they've got the bait. All right, guys, pretty sure we got one on the spinning reel. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, we got something. Oh, yeah, channel cap. There we go, guys. Nice channel cap there. All right, so with these, if you've never handled one before, you do have to be careful. You want to make sure that these fins don't get you. And he's got a top one here, too. So you want to grab them where none of those can get you because they're sharp. All right, so today we're keeping our fish using a stringer. So basically all you got to do is you go in through his gills, through the gill plate, and then you want to poke that metal part of the stringer out through his mouth, or you can go through the mouth, out the gills. It doesn't matter. You're going to take the spike of the stringer then and put it through the ring on the end of the stringer. Just pull it tight, pull it tight, and then you've got him on a stringer, and you can throw him in the water. Alright guys, so now we've got our catfish on a stringer. He's swimming around, that'll keep him fresh and alive. Catfish are very hardy fish, they basically need to be wet, and they will live. Alright guys, we're one fish down, we got four more to go. I'm feeling good, that was pretty quick, so hopefully we can get some bigger ones, but hey, he was perfect eating size, so we'll take it. Catfish of the day. There we go, two catfish. I just got poked by a tree in my neck. Oh my god. Uh, so, Gunner. Gunner. Gunner, come here. <laughs> Sorry. Looks like they're moving in shallow now, guys. Alright. Three catfish on the stringer. Okay, alright guys. Well, we're about to head out. We got three catfish. So we're gonna throw them in the bucket and we're gonna head on home. Alright guys, so I'm back in my apartment, uh, filleted up the fish, got six nice fillets from those three catfish. Um, honestly, I'm pretty sure I would have caught my limit of five if the turtles weren't taking my bait every single time. So I think definitely now if I go back, um, I would have to plan around the turtles. I would also say I'd recommend if you use the chicken livers, the treble hooks work a lot better for holding them on the hook. So I would definitely recommend using the treble hooks for that. 
Um, other than that, guys, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something and got something out of this. I uh, just kind of want to help you all if you're trying to figure out how to start fishing. If this is your first time and you want to try to fish for catfish, I hope that this helped you out with that. So anyways, guys, make sure you like the video. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up, it helps me out a lot. And drop a comment. Let me know what you want to see in future videos um, or if you want to say hey or just talk to me. And I'll get back with you guys on some answers. And most importantly, subscribe to the channel, guys. I'm going to keep the videos coming for y'all. And it helps me out so much if you get subscribed to the channel. So with that being said, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.